Hello. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. It's the 2nd of August, 2020, and I am psychicking live today. Sarah Perry Psychic Medium. My website is www.sarahperrypsychic.com. And I am here with my cat on her new scratcher, um, Winnie. Winnie the lovely cat, Kitty, here she comes, here she comes, say hi, hello, hello. Uh, the reason I've got a tiger behind me is because it is the month of August and it's Leo the lion. <laughs> it should be a lion, but it was the closest I could get. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at the overall month of August, but also the numerological personal months of everyone who is tuning in today uh, from 1 to 33. And um, if you've seen any of my um, adverts or for this live today, then check out how to do your personal month. And when we've got, oh, we've got people watching now. Um, so when I do the numerology, numer blah, 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 the numeral <laughs> numerology, <laughs> I will tell you how to get your personal month and then I will let you know the insights of the energies around that with the month of August which actually is a numerology I can't, I can't say it today um, it's number three okay so this means it's going to be a lot of fun hi Max uh, a lot of fun this month because the number three is a kind of child <laughs> This is what we have to deal with daily. Um, but she really wanted to be part of this, didn't you, darling? Didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I know. She wants to give her insight and her input and show you what she can do. And her acrobatics. Whoops. She's going to fall off. Um, <laughs> so number three is like the child in numerology. You get number one when you're on your own. Number two, you have a relationship. And number three, the baby's born. Okay, so see... This is like connecting with your inner child this month, having some time to play. I feel the whole of August is gonna be so much lighter. Now we have been bombarded with negative information, people's outbursts, um, everything falling, you know, feeling like it's all falling apart or being taken away from us. Hi Jill, and hi Tracy, and um, you know, I feel like we're gonna be given some time off this month, you know, it's like, Let's just all relax just a little bit. Let's just take time to remember why we are here. You know, why, what was our purpose? And what could we get out of this that is actually good? I kind of get the feeling, although I know there's going to be a lot of, still a lot of bizarre behavior from people and it will continue to come in is i mean my guidance to you is just stop watching the tv stop watching the news and just enjoy yourself because it's only going to bring you down because there's always going to be the few that aren't going to enjoy the playtime but this month is going to be a good time to 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 look at things from a better perspective we've got mars going retrograde very very soon so you really want to be taking that time now and august is holiday season isn't it although some of us are being sent home or flight's still being cancelled um you know there is still we can still laugh about things you know we can still find the possibilities you know at the end of this you're never going to forget it it's going to be a memory and really what you want is the good memory don't you so turn it into something positive oh god <laughs> he's gonna break that she only just got it as well um the sand card for the month before i do the numerology because this is a new thing I'm introducing. Plus, I'm going to be doing art readings as well. Tomorrow is full moon. Okay, so expect a little bit of erratic behavior because of the Uranus aspect. It is retrograde. And Uranus is like that, is that planet where people just want to like, when it goes retrograde, people just want to break the rules. You know, they, they just want to break out of everything. Hi, Shelley. Um, and do something different. So you may find that some people have a kind of personality change over the next few days. And if that happens, I would just like, again, just look at it creatively, have a laugh and think, hey, this is fun. What's the positives of this? If you can do that, then all being well. Do you agree with that? See, Winnie's showing us how to play right now. This is what you do. You have nothing better to do. Wreck a post. <laughs> just play on a post. Um, so the sand card for the, for the month, okay? Um, I will be doing a wax reading 
for the full moon, a wax plate reading. Um, I may pre-record it or I may go live. I'm not 100% yet, sure yet, but um, do look out for it. But my plan or intention, because we don't like plans, is to do a Monday uh, weekly uh, energy read and also using artwork rather than tarot. Hmm, watch this space. I've got amazing projects happening this month. Um, one in particular of painting the wall of a swimming pool. Not inside the pool, which would be really beneficial right now because it is really hot and I'm sure you've noticed that I'm just like soaking with sweat. But it's all around the edges and it's gonna be huge. So I'm gonna be beginning that kind of properly tomorrow because I was supposed to start yesterday. Uh, but I was playing. And um, uh, this is going to be a lot of fun, like that. <laughs> we're going to be we're going to be doing filming bits of it, um, and you know I may be doing some predictions and insight as I go. I mean, why not? Hey, um, so the idea is there, and um, the plan is to get that done before the end of the week. But we don't we don't go with plans, do we? Do we, Winnie? Do you go with the plan? No. Okay, so we've got production is the sand card for the month of August. The working process acts as a facilitator of new inspiration, which is great because the number three, which is the number of the month, is, um, I was just reading that, sorry, I just lost my focus there. Uh, the number three is, uh, is, is inspiration, you know, being born, uh, being inventive, being curious, be the child. Look at everything with a child's eyes, you know, a child's viewpoint. How would a child deal with this? And I don't mean like throw yourself over and knock your knees or whatever necessarily, but at least have the faith and the trust that something good will come from it. You know, when you're a child, everything is there for the grabs. Everything is a possibility. Everything is fun. You know, you laugh. And when you hear children laughing, you know, it can be the most, it's the most precious amazing thing that you will ever hear you know you hear them giggling i love that sound so take time to laugh you know if you're gonna be angry find something funny in it you know if someone's annoying you or upsetting you or just being miserable just like look at them and go hey well, they're just a bunch of idiots really i mean look at them and then just visualize them as clowns or doing something weird or even like winnie is on that post and now she's around my feet which is great but um you know, look at it from a different point of view and think that everything that is being created right now is part of a massive rebirth that is going to happen. Now, Uranus, with its great big retrograde energy happening right now, could cause a few mishaps. And I am seeing a kind of dive happening during August, around the 17th to 20th, where suddenly everyone goes, okay, so remember this moment, because everyone will be going like that, <laughs> exactly like that. And uh, we might be thinking, oh my God, everything's going backwards. When are it going to be going forwards? And actually, it, you know, it is still going forwards. It's just, we had to have just a slight detour, you know? Imagine that you are on a, a coach ride, it's boiling hot here and everyone's getting excited, everyone's singing because you're on holiday and you're going along on this road and you're nearly there, you're like 10 minutes away and suddenly you come to this part of the road and the road's just not there anymore. And the whole thing has just fallen in. <laughs> You're like, oh my God. And the bus driver says, I'm sorry, folks. You know, we're in like 100 degrees heat. Um, we're going to have to take a detour. We've got to relook at the maps. We've got to reset Google. And we're going to have to go the long way around. And you're like all looking forward to this, like the first glass, you know, gin and tonic or, you know, your first refreshing beer or you want to get in and swim. And you're so excited because this has been a really majorly long journey there. You know, you've been taking three days on this coach. OK, this, this story is getting like more evolved as we go. And, you know, you you messaging home everything you know and then suddenly you have to take this detour and you think oh what was the point you know and and you everyone sort of goes oh you know and that's what i feel it's a kind of down thing but the good thing is is that when you take the detour the scenery is going to be so much better now if this is to do with a situation a project that you're doing and maybe someone pulls out of it and wants to go and do something else or maybe they suddenly take a holiday and you think oh it's been delayed Sometimes just the feeling of delay can feel like a complete, like, it's like, good not going to happen, you know. And it's very easy to look at the worst. Because it's easier for us to go there because 
if we go to the worst, then we're ready for the worst, right? So it may just be a change. But what that change will be is either you may have time out to go and party and have fun yourself. So say, I'm going to, I'm getting five days for someone who's watching. Maybe it's a five day delay when you are really looking forward to that date and you're crossing it off on your calendar. I'm getting the 21st for somebody. It's like crossed off. And I've got the word conception. <laughs> so maybe there was something going on there. Like that was the day that we were going to do the deed. And it's like, oh, maybe, it, yeah, you know, maybe there's, are you into that? Yeah, not for you, hun. You've been done. Yeah, it's not happening for you. And don't die. No, 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 no. Just stay, stay in your area and I'll stay in mine. It's a lot easier. Yeah? A lot easier. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so some of you might, you might have organised IVF or something like that. Because this number three is kind of about, like, new beginnings and birth. So you might, maybe you've um, organised a meeting with someone to talk about... Um, I don't know, I'm just getting children because it is that feeling around this month, you know, this child element. So you might be thinking of expanding your family or, you know, or having someone to come and say, maybe your kid's coming back, but they've been held up because their flight has been cancelled. But I'm getting five days for some reason for somebody who is watching. 15 for others, okay? So some of it is going to be different. We're all on a different journey. But remember, the length of time is because of the learning that is needed and also because of the fun ride the different bus that you're going to take you know the different um type of journey that is coming in the slight detour see it as you know you're going on a mystery tour and suddenly fate has stepped in and said right we've got something really cool for you to get so you're going to get an extra bonus but we need a bit of time to do that so no get down i don't want you on there because of the computer yeah and it's on a special page you're not using it. I've told you, you can't use the computer. You're a cat. <sighs> she doesn't get it. Um, but the thing is, you know, this detour is going to be good for you. All right. So don't get all like hot and bothered and wound up because it's a waste of time. And especially if you're in Spain, where I am right now, or somewhere where it's really hot, it just isn't worth it. Incidentally, did anybody in Spain actually feel it cool down this morning, last night? I actually suddenly woke up and thought, oh my God, the temperature's gone down by like two degrees. I'm suddenly okay. That was great. Um, for a moment, I wasn't sweating. Um, so this is a good thing. Or look at every adjustment right now as a good thing. We've still got Saturn doing this to get you to the best part. Now, for some of you, you may not feel like anything because you're already doing the right thing. You're on the path. You, you, you're just there, you know. But most of us, there's still some alterations to be made, you know. Think if you're getting married, you know, and you've got like your dress has just arrived and you maybe you put on a few pounds or something and then you've got to have your, your dress changed. And then there's this massive accident and someone drops a huge cup of wine, wine cup, a glass of wine onto there. And you think, oh my God, it's ruined. But then all of a sudden this dress arrives, which is even better. And somebody doesn't want it. And they're going, well, we do have this, you know, and it's like, oh my God, that then it fits perfectly, right? So just think somebody is adjusting you onto the right road. They're getting you into the right street where you need to be. I am seeing a, like a kind of fight in politics this month, which is generally happening. But it's like two people really, really going at each other. I don't know what country this is, but it feels like it's almost like a debate. Who is going to be in power? That kind of thing. And I feel that whatever is going on, it is almost like if you don't, you know, if you don't get it right, you won't be doing another term. You know, you're not going to be because people are going to lose faith in you. And there seems to be this fight for the rights going on, but the fights between two people in power too. Because, I mean, to, let's face it, none of this is making sense anymore, is it? I mean, it's kind of hilarious. So <laughs> look at the funny side, really. Um, and you know what? And my guidance to you is don't book any more flights right now. <laughs> Just like hold fire. I think again, September, we're going to get some more changes. So just be patient. Have some fun. Enjoy what you have. Um, oh, and that card just flew over there. Oh, look, that's interesting. The plan. <laughs> the structure. There's a bigger plan, guys. There's something so much bigger. It's out of your control. Hi, Zoe. So it's time. Hi, Julia. It's time to realize that and realize that although you so want that control 
and you want to know what's coming and you want to know that, you know, by Christmas, everything's going to be fine. You're just not going to know it, guys, because spirit and the universe is just going, hey, until you just chill and you just sit back and just live your life and be in the moment and start, enjoy, you know, looking at what you have, your skills, your resources, your creativity, your natural abilities and your flair. Stop looking for someone else to make it better or something else to create that life. Start focusing on what you want, what you really want, what's going to make you happy, what's going to give you passion. Long term, think about the next 10 years. What do you want to achieve? And then start from the beginning, you know. Oops, sorry, I'm just knocking everything off because I want to look at my computer because I just have to look at some notes that I made earlier. Um... What are we doing? Okay. Okay, so I want to look at the numerology. We've got quite a few people. So the personal month, guys, if you've seen my live, um, my feed that I put out, to get your personal month, you have to add your personal year to the year. Now, August is eight. All right, it's, that's the year. The, the overall numerological year is number four. So I'm going to take that into account as I'm doing readings. Now, eight is kind of like better management, better structure. You know, if you're a number eight person, if it's your, what I call your destiny number, which is your birthday added, which is something you're unable to change, um, which does really have your core energy connected to it then you're somebody that is probably very good at managing or is going to be put into situations where you are the manager. If it's like a karmic part of your chart, like a test, you may be always put into situations of money management, you know, where you have to be looking at your accounts, looking at your finances. It's a particular, I always see this as kind of like the person who is managing a team, somebody who has to look at the overall picture. So if you think about it, what I've been saying about this, stepping back and looking at that bigger picture, this is exactly it. It's like better management. Get your life into a better place of balance this month. The number four is about structure. So you've got the whole year is showing new structure. So all this upheaval is actually been creating something that is more solid, that the foundations are just so much stronger that we can work upon. So that next year we can take flight and make those changes because next year will be a number five, okay? Now, your personal year is created by, dum, 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 it's your date of birth plus the current year. So if you are the first of the seventh, then it would be eight plus eight, all right? If it's a double number, like the 29th of the 10th, it would be 11 plus one plus eight, because you add the two and the nine and the one and the one, all right? Just, just makes it simpler. You can add it as a whole thing, and then you just break it down into one number. Now, if you hit a number 11, 22, or 33 in that total, leave it as it is, okay? They are power numbers, and I'm going to be looking at those as I look at the personal month. Now, if you want, when you look at your personal month, you add uh, your personal month number, um, you add your current, your personal year, which you, we've just calculated, and sorry, I've just told you something completely wrong. Okay, so can we just start again? The personal year is your date of birth plus the year, which is four, okay? So if you are the 29th of the 10th, it would be 11 plus one plus four, okay? So the personal year is four. Then you add the personal year, so if it was 29th of the 10th plus four, it would be two plus one plus four, which is seven. Yes, I was never very good at maths, all right? So number seven, then you add that to the, to the personal month, which, to the overall month, which is eight, okay? So that would be eight plus seven is 15, and add the two numbers, the one and the five would make number six. Okay, so everyone kind of understood that. So your personal year is your date of birth, the month and the day, plus the universal year, which is four. Then you add that number total to the, the universal month, which is eight, and that will give you your personal month for August. So it could be any number from one to nine, or it could 
add up to 11, 22 or 33. If you get those double numbers, then hold on to those numbers. Um, right, you can always go, I'm gonna keep this video up, so, and I'm gonna um, be pointing some cards up so you know that I'm like going for number one or number two, all right? So that if you wanna scroll through later and listen again, you can. Also, I will be uploading this to YouTube. Please guys, share and subscribe to my website and to my channel. It really, really helps me expand what I'm doing. And that is something that I am working on this month where I'm gonna be bringing in a lot of artwork and lots of different, different ways of looking at readings. And also be letting you know about some new workshops that I've got going on and all my groups. I'm gonna be adding them to these comments as well at the end of this feed so do check out all the links and if you want a personal reading go to my website sarahperrypsychic.com there are special offers for audio recordings and written readings this month okay it's not just the saturday 33 dollars it's all month it's not one-to-one -one. the one-to-one -one readings on skype or well maybe not face-to-face because -face, i'm not generally doing those at the moment but skype or telephone where we're actually speaking are the original, hi Heidi, are the original price of $57. Now there are gonna be some other readings going up which will be spirit guide readings and I'm gonna be doing some live stuff on that. On the full moon and the new moon, I'm gonna be doing wax plate readings and also art readings weekly where I'm doing automatic art paintings and you, there will be readings from those as well. So if you're ever interested in having your spirit guide drawn or some automatic work, <laughs> some workshops on automatic art and things like that, then please do get in touch. I am creating a lot of workshops and create retreats right now. So do get involved in my private groups. Again, I'm gonna put the links below, okay? And do check out the YouTube channel because there will be a lot of stuff going up there about the big mural that I am going to be painting this week. It's <laughs> just fabulous. Okay, so let's look at if you've worked out your personal month's number, the number one. Okay, now what I do, I've just written some notes because, well, actually I just needed to remind what I was doing because I've got a bit of a weird head right now. Um, if you, your personal number is one, okay, you are dealing with a three month, okay? Now, one and three can be slight challenge, okay? Because three is kind of, is not as focused, right? Three is more creative, all right? So it's bringing in more inspiration. Make it work for you. Focus on your creativity and find some, I don't know, more structure doing so. You know, I feel that if you, use the positive energy this month is going to take you a lot further if you don't work with the creativity and you find it hard because you're trying to focus on old stuff and old patterns and old plans and old structures you may find that you just feel your energy is going to be a lot lower so focus on the light constantly I feel like you're going to want to move forward with projects um, you are going to feel more inspired, but it could be that there's extra responsibilities that are holding you back that you still need to do. There is a way of doing both. OK, so again, this is like or the year is a four. So it's about being practical. So I feel like you kind of got to put creative, practical and focus all together this month. You know, use those skills that you have and find a really perfect balance because one and four are very much a good combination um, because you know if you're fo you know it does give you that direct route and keeps things in order but with number three they're sort of kind of saying get outside the boundary a bit you know step outside yourself see something new get it step away slightly from the plan but keep going keep going on what you want keep going on what on your goal but allow yourself to be inspired and don't stop yourself having fun if someone kind of calls up and says come on we're all going out you know be a little bit spontaneous use that number one to be spontaneous number one is the sign of leo and leo is this month you know and it's either it can it's it's a direct approach it's the leader it's the pioneer so share your ideas out there. Think, I don't have to stick to the way that I did it all the time. You know, maybe it's time for a fresh approach. Maybe I can bring in some new ideas to add to it. All right. So, so really, really, this is really creative time. Now, number two. 
Okay, um, and it's not a number two. <laughs> it's a number two. Mm. I do to work out your month's number. You have to first work out your personal year. Okay, which is your date of birth plus the universal year, which is four. So just add up your day, your month, and four, and add that onto add four onto it. Then you take that number and you add that to the number three, which is the universal month, and that will give you the number that I'm talking about. But you can go over back over these things. Um, there is on my news feed on my timeline it actually does say how to work that out okay so let's have a quick look or come back to it later um so number two you may because it could be like a kind of weird entanglement happening this month right um there could be a third party getting involved in things watch out for influences um taking you away from your goal but at the same time see the positives i feel like everything this month you you have to look at the positives okay um and don't let somebody else's point of view or somebody else getting in the way of your like lure thing or whatever going on being an issue. Think of somebody's new coming into the mix as bringing in something new, something inspirational, new learning that you can, you know, maybe it's showing you something that you're missing. I feel like anybody that could be coming into your circle right now, um, you know, if you've been like a partnership and you've not really let anybody in and you, you know, you don't want anyone in there because you're just loving your, you know, your little thing, your little bubble, you know, this part, you know, and it could one or either of you of the partnership might be feeling a little bit like irritated because this person's always around or just in the face or you feel a bit jealous, you know, and it's trying changing things up. Think about what this the learning is here. There is a positive. I don't feel like this is a negative influence. Um, I feel like somebody is trying to bring some fun in. Take away the mundane. You know, maybe you're getting too restricted. Maybe you're thinking too safe and it's time to address something new. Maybe you'll be thinking if you're a number two that you're thinking about maybe introducing a child into your relationship or maybe you're thinking about having a threesome i don't know um, <laughs> it doesn't really matter um it doesn't have to be about being in a relationship it could be that somebody is trying to bring in an idea at work I, i'm kind of getting the sense that you don't want to break out of what you've done or the plan and it's going to be kind of annoying to start with for some of you but see, it's a good thing because whatever is bring, being brought in now is going to help enhance whatever you're doing, okay? So it might be a little bit difficult trying something new, but use it as inspiration. Use it as a time to have faith and to step onto a new path because I think it's going to be really important for, you know, it, you know if you, you're used to working with one person all the time or you're just used to using your time with one person or you just work you and your thing, you know, it's like... There's something else that wants to come in. There's something else that wants to enter. You know, maybe it's time to bring in the child into the relationship. Maybe it's time to bring in more social life. Maybe it's time to change up the routine, you know. Now, number three, if you're a number three, this is going to be fabulous time. Because three and three, um, well, let's just double the... And I think you've got an opportunity to really socialise, have fun with people. Um, you may be being told off by, you know, like like the order of things that are generally going on. You may be pulled back occasionally or feel like a little bit of restriction. Um, but I just get the sense you're going to have a chance to go out and have some fun. So do, when it comes knocking on the door, enjoy yourself. Um, I'm just seeing lots of groups, um, just party time. Although we're, we've still got a social distance, I think there's going to be a lot of laughter. Um, I'm also getting people people thinking about you know embarking on some you know maybe writing maybe doing some more stuff um on a creative people you know putting something out new on social media um there's going to be lots of ideas i feel like with any projects you're doing there's going to be an injection of new life um you you know sometimes you're going to have to remain within the guidelines and you may feel like you just want to break out especially around the full moon and just like break the rules but just you know be sensible don't um 
not to the point of boring, but just, you know, if there's a law, there's a law, stick to it. Um, but it doesn't stop you having fun. It, you know, there are other ways of doing it. And I feel like if somebody's being a bit boring or isn't wanting to listen or being awkward or stubborn, then this is the time to, you know, think in a, you know, bring in some fun and, and have a laugh and lighten the atmosphere. You know, be creative with the way you do it even, you know. You've got the ability this month to do it. I think you're just going to want to laugh anyway. Now, number four... Um, it, this may be a challenging month because I get the sense you're going to be wanting to get things done. You're going to want to get things organised. There could be planning of moving house, organising things around the house and it's not working. I'm kind of seeing walls crumbling a bit. It's like you do a job and then it falls down. And this is a big... Um, you know, and I don't mean like the whole wall falls down, but you might think you you spent so long on something and then it just didn't... It all went wrong. You know, you lost your... Um, your computer died or... Um, you know the oven breaks or you know i don't know but I, i'm getting that kind of thing where you want it you've got um a time frame to do something but you're working too hard i feel like you're putting too much burden on yourself and that you these things are happening so that you take some time out and have some rest and reorder the way you're doing things because i think this is about energy as well and how much energy you're putting into other people's things you may be doing a lot of things for organizing someone else's projects because it's kind of that way of like well if I get it done myself it's going to get done you know what's the point of um you know waiting I might as well just get on with it but actually I feel it's it's not your responsibility in some ways now I'm looking for the number five Aha! number five okay love this number just be aware again of breaking the rules because number five is a bit of a dangerous number you know Number fives want to fly to the moon. If you ask them, they'll do it. They'll dive off the cliff. They'll have fun. Okay, this is the energy of the five. It's also about being adaptable and being flexible. Um, and I feel like the for number fives, you're, you're going to want to change things up. You're going to want to be adaptable. Um, they, there's still restrictions going on. There's still lockdowns in areas. There's still these like kind of boundaries that we have to follow. So I just feel you really need to be aware of those because this I feel is like, it's like that danger, danger, you know, don't do something just to make a point. All right. This isn't the month to do it. I feel like you've got to just have a lighter attitude, rise above things, you know. I can see, you know, somebody getting involved with a police, uh, you know, somebody in the police or something or someone in the law and then sort of shouting their mouth off, you know, you've got really drunk and you're going, oh, and then you're just like getting arrested and it's just going, not really working out and you're not looking cool in front of your friends and you're not looking big and powerful. You end up just suffering the consequences. So remember that this month, whatever you do has consequences. Have fun, be creative, be inspiring, but do it in a sensible way, okay, in a safe way. And I don't mean safe and boring, okay, because I don't really use the word safe very often because I just feel like the safe option isn't always the best option. But just remember the lines, the boundaries that you are in, okay? Um, this is, I feel like you could be challenged this month on many, many levels. And I think that some people in authority will be challenging you. But this is a good thing to learn, to learn how to deal with things in a more assertive way, in a more fun way, communicate in a more, you know, a lighter way. Um, you know, be, again, be curious like the child. Look at other people in, from a way of, innocence that you've never met this person before you've never known how they you know you, you're not presuming anything you haven't had a reaction you know so so go in with light a light heart and with love and I just feel like you can really make some really cool changes and you're going to move forward it's a good card uh, it's a good number god I'm getting really heady and it's so hot um number six Things is number six. Yeah, that's number nine. Um, so number six, I feel this is going to be a time for family fun, getting together, social groups, although we're not allowed to really be that close near. I think that you could work on projects with other people. I feel like if you're doing workshops or you're doing any kind of group stuff, um, again, I've got to be a bit careful with this because of the restrictions, but anything that you've created or organized and you plan for, I feel it is going to be okay. And I feel there's a lot of loyalty and support around you. So don't get into a fear place of, you know, this isn't going to work. I'm all on my own. How am I going to deal with this? I feel like, you know, this is a time that you call on the loyalty of your friends and your family and they will be there for you. You're going to want to do things right this month. I feel like some of you are going to want justice, you know? 
you're going to want to some you might want to get on your soapbox and start going well this is wrong you know um again that's the uranus influence coming in so watch that full moon but i feel like it's do things the right way be honorable to yourself give the love to yourself and give yourself some time off if you want some relaxation you want to have some time with some friends and just chill a bit do it don't you know maybe put the work aside just for a little bit and give yourself time to do that now number seven if you are a seven month incidentally anybody who wants to know about the personal months it is on my timeline how to work that out or just stop the video and then go back and re-watch it okay so you can watch your numbers and you can forward through to the numbers as i hold them up okay um so if you're a number seven i feel like you may actually want to become this is quite a spiritual number it's quite a detached number and it's like looking from a higher level so you're going to be given opportunities to rise above things and the guidance here is to take the time before you speak <laughs> okay um have it consider all opposition consider what you're being hi chris what you're being shown what you're being taught Oh, there's so much stuff going on. What's going on? Oh, sorry, the cat and the dog are fighting under the floor. Where's Winnie? Where's she? Okay. Um, so take the time to consider all op options. Detach if you can and look and connect with spirit. I feel like a spiritual attitude, a spiritual point of view is going to be the order of the day and i feel like if you meditate and you take that time on that spiritual journey and really start working with yourself and your own needs you are going to get such amazing insight so much inspiration from spirit you know if you are working on that level anyway this could be the month for you yes you may have to stand up for yourself um, rise above the norm a little bit you know some people's restricted point of views maybe you know you you have to you know you're going to be tested with doubt a little bit about what is reality and what isn't you know and be looking beyond and trusting in a higher source that's okay okay but that is you know this you will benefit from focusing on your truth trusting in spirit and going within for answers this month okay and if you want to you know do some kind of new workshops or some learning online or something um, and develop your spirituality this is going to be a great month to do it because i feel like any groups that you connect with even if they're online i think you're going to find a lot of inspiration a lot of new ideas and just feel reborn okay so great great number to have now number eight Dun, dun, dun. number eight um right i'm just going to say here don't try and control the situation because number eight obviously is the is the eight months it is you know i see this is the management number the organizer i feel like you're almost being guided to think out the boxes don't try and tell people what to do too much you may come across as really um, you know, almost too assertive and a bit bossy because I can see you wanting a plan and wanting to stick to the plan. And maybe you've got lots of ideas and you're throwing them at people and you're thinking, no, this is what we did. You know, step outside a little bit. Be the best manager by understanding who you're managing, understanding the situation, all areas. Get into the roles of other people. Put yourself in the mind of someone else to understand them better. And be open to that. Be open to others' viewpoints. I can get see people getting a little bit kind of like a stick in the mud and going, oh, you know, oh, I don't know. You know, I, I don't want to change this. I've had this plan for years. You know, this is what I want to do and I want to implement it. I want to set this brand off. Now, remember I said about the month of August that we could take a step back to come forwards. All right. And if you take that step back, you know, it's actually going to take you on a detour. And maybe this is you guys. You've organized this thing, everything is going well, and then suddenly, boof, someone new comes into the mix, or someone asks a question you did, you weren't planned for. Remember, this is about being open to new ideas and new, new pathways coming in, okay? So don't let go of being bossy or being too fixed. Really, really be flexible this month. It's going to be important. And I think that you'll unblock so many other areas, energies in your life as well. Number nine. No, 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 nine. Okay, this is a real charitable month. 
um, number. This is like, I feel like the heart number in a way. It's like the overall giving. You know, if you are a number nine in general, you're going to be somebody who gives a lot. Maybe you're a healer, maybe you're a carer, that kind of thing. Um, it's like a sense of completion, the understanding, the whole, the really seeing the light. You know, it's quite a spiritual number because for some, this is the last number of the numerology, but we will be doing the power numbers as well. Now, number nine, this I feel this could be really an amazingly effective um, month for you if you are doing some kind of charity work or you're getting involved in some kind of group project or you know you're putting something out there to help people if you are someone who you know you're an influencer an inspirer whatever you want to call it you are going to get so much back and I feel like there's going to be so many ideas and I see something emerging from whatever you're doing do not focus on the money folks focus on the love for what you're doing and the, the amazing energy that you're putting out there this month and be you know just trust I feel like you've just got to like take that leap of faith and everything will work out and so much is coming back to you because I feel there's going to be so many gifts coming back returns of what you've given but this is it's important to do something because you love it and because you want to make a change um so it's kind of for you I feel like you again step outside the boundaries a little bit of you know that kind of seriousness of well I've got to do this because it's going to make me a living you know it's like you know I'm only doing this charity because it's going to promote me you know do it because you actually are so passionate about it and that actually you're really passionate about helping somebody and you know when you really love and you really give a gift it's a gift you you don't want it back there's no um I can't I, there's no contract you know it's just you're just doing it Give because you can. Give of your time and your energy because you can and you want to. Not because it's going to give you a result. All right? You'll get the result because you did it because you loved it. All right? So the saying is trust the bigger plan this month and go and play. You know, if somebody else says to you, do you want to come and do this? And you're thinking, oh, you know, I've got to do this essay. Or, oh, God, if I take that time off, I'm going to do my hours this month. And how am I going to pay the rent? Well, if you're looking at whether you're going to not pay the rent next month, then you're probably already saying you're not going to be able to pay it so just say no actually I, i'm good to myself i love myself and i want some time hi tracy hi jean right so good good um number of charity now we've got the three power numbers here okay 11 22 and 33 okay so i say the 11 oh the 11 is like the baby of the family and number three is all like grandfather wise and number 22 is like the solid mum, right <laughs> um so number, if you have added all your numbers together and you, you came to 11, <coughs> stick it at 11. Frank, come here. Come here. I think I might have lost the cat. <coughs> Hold on a minute. Frank, come away. Come away. Okay, beautiful. I don't know where Winnie's gone. <sighs> I'm really hoping she hasn't jumped off the balcony. <laughs> I'm going to be in trouble. Winnie, are you there? Okay. So number 11 is like the magician, okay? You've just been given the magic wand. Off you go, you know, fabulous. Again, watch that. It's like the energy of the number five with this. I feel like you could feel so empowered this month, so hit with inspiration and just think, I just want to go and play. I just want to go and have fun. And I'm all manifesting, you know. This is going to be a great month to manifest what you want, but don't use the power, misuse the power. OK, don't manifest it for your own gain. And I mean, yes, we manifest for gain because we want to bring something great into our lives, but not in the debt. Oh, I can't think of the words, um, not for the loss of other people. You know, don't do it just to be powerful. Do it because it's something you really want and you really love, you know, and, and you really believe in. So this is going to be such an amazing month for you if you take charge of this skill and you really connect with your inner power but remember you are still learning okay you know focus be open be flexible be adaptable and you know just use that power for good really put it out there be inspirational write a book you know write um i don't know a journal be you know put your ideas out there 
but don't do it to hurt other people, right? Because you may feel kind of in your power, you know? You know, like somebody, right, I'm more powerful, and I'm gonna get my own back, and I'm gonna do that. And I know most people that are watching this aren't gonna do that, but sometimes we just want justice so badly, and then suddenly we see this thing, this time that we could step in, and it's like, yeah, be careful, guys, all right? Do things the right way. Do things for the good and love of all. And think of that. And it's not about doing something for someone else because it's all about them. It's about look at the bigger picture and the consequences again, okay? Because I feel like you've got the energy and the, to manifest whatever you want. But just remember what you wish for. All right? That's all I'm saying. 22. You could be hesitant, right? Now, this is a powerful number again because you've got two twos of four. We've got the year as a four. Um, you know, this is like working together. This is connecting with the collective. This is a wonderful, wonderful, knowledgeable, wise number where, you know, you kind of got it all, you know, and you know where you are and everything's kind of working. But it's like, I feel like this is, this month for you, it is a time of new learning. It's a sign of not resting in your laurels. Um, not believing that that's it. Okay, and this is the message I'm getting for this and, and believe, knowing that actually there is something new coming from this and you are about to take a step up and maybe into this 33 energy. Um, so don't hold yourself back because I kind of sense that from a negative point of view, for some of you who are maybe feeling fearful or doubtful about yourself, you know, this could become more because of the energy inside you and the power you have. Remember your thoughts, the thought, that one single thought is the beginning of everything the pioneer of where you're going you know it's like if I if you think I'm unable to pay my rent you know I can't do this I can't do that I can't afford it I can't and you instinctively think that and then you follow that up with all the energy and everything and all that you know your expression your manifestation and everything your power then you're going to create that so I feel like this is a time that you've got to watch the negativity seeping in, all right? Or that power of safety and security, because that's the number four. That's the number four of the year. But the number three of the month is saying, hey, come on, let's, let's like, look, remember, you're still learning. Remember, there's still more to get, you know, don't, don't, don't just stay safe. Let's, let's, you know, and I mean, again, safe because you're afraid. Stay safe, guys. <laughs> <laughs> ensure your safety and don't be dangerous but what I mean is don't say safe that you don't want to find anything new that this is it that you you know it's like saying I'm a master I'm a Reiki master and that's it now well Reiki has evolved what you may have learned 20 years ago has changed everything has moved on the energy's got bigger and stronger people are tapping into new stuff all right so number 33, this is probably the best number of the whole lot because obviously you've got three threes, guys, and three threes, obviously the three of the month, the two threes are number nine. So that's like that whole empowering love and energy and trust. And I just feel this is going to be the best month for you guys because the only thing are the doubting Thomases or that feeling of you've still got to stay within the guidelines. Now, generally, we do have to do that right in life because there's laws there's you know there's things we have to follow but you may feel a little bit more restricted than most because I get the sense your faith and your trust is going to be on such a high and you're going to just again feel really really empowered and you're going to be full of ideas full of creativity you may just suddenly want to walk out on your job right this is the kind of thing this energy's got now, I'm not saying that's the wrong thing, because actually I don't feel danger here. And I'm not telling anyone who's got a 33 to suddenly go, I'm leaving my job. My guidance to you is to trust. If you feel that trust is there and you love yourself and everything's just the way it is and everything you feel, you know that feeling where you just are just so content, so fulfilled, so happy, so secure in the love of everything. That's when you do, you know, that, that's when you know and you just trust and you just believe. And then, you know, instead of like having a big argument and walking out of your job, you just go quietly. You just pick up your stuff, leave a note on the table and go, you know, or just hand in your resignation really quietly. You don't say no goodbye to anyone. You just move on because actually you don't have to, you know, make a big thing of it. You don't have to hide behind that kind of defense. You just know. 
When you really know something, there isn't a question. There's no doubt. All right. When it's right, it's right. And that's what I feel this up to you are just going to be so bowled over by spiritual um, insight, inspiration, inventiveness. Use it. Use it in a, the right way. You know, use it to transform your life because I feel like you're going to have the skill and the energy to do it. So, guys, that's the numbers. Um, go back over the video if you want to, and, and I will put it in the feed, how to work out your personal month numbers. Check out my full moon wax plate reading tomorrow. Um, I may do it live. I may just record it and put it up. I haven't decided because I'm in the moment at the moment, and I'm just in a really cool place. So um, there is no plan except for the bigger plan. <laughs> and I'm just listening and going with it, all right? My guidance to you this month is have some fun, lighten up, all right? And I don't mean break the rules or go and trash things or have a go at somebody that isn't having fun. Connect with your inner child, connect with what you wanted to do as a child. Be that curious inspirer that begin something new it's beginning a new generation it, it lead by example in your vibration and share that vibration with other people because the more you do the more people are going to connect with it now if you want a private reading with me and you've enjoyed this vlog first of all please like share and subscribe uh go over to the youtube channel and just support me support me you know uh, but if you'd like a private reading please go to my website www.saraperrypsychic.com check out my artwork this month the channel is changing i'm going to be doing readings on art doing automatic art connecting with spirit guides, doing so, so many things, okay? This is who I, I'm now sharing what I am. I'm changing things up, guys. I'm leading by example and connecting with that inspiring side. If you want to do any workshops with me, you're interested in this private reading, obviously go to the website. Um, there are lots and lots of things coming in and I'm going to be sharing with you. And the big thing is this week I'm going to be painting the wall, the wall of the pool. This is a great, great wall, not the wall of China, the wall of Vera. Okay, so do check in to my channel and watch that development as it happens. Uh, we'll be doing some lives there and some pre-recorded stuff. Um, but yeah, this is going to be an amazing thing, a great fun treat to do and a project for me to get playful with. Um, so, you know, you want to have some fun, you want some joy, then do do check in. I wish you all an amazing, amazing Sunday. And if again, if you want a private reading, go to the website. The audios and the written reading are now on special offer. Okay, I will be all organizing or putting up art readings as well, spirit guide drawings, um, uh, amongst other things. There's also your past life Akashic records you can tap into. So go, go to the website now and subscribe, guys. Oh, also the referral program. You want a free reading, then just refer a friend and get them to book a reading. All right, all they've got to do is say, this person referred to me. You have to subscribe first though. Okay, if you subscribe first, that is your prize. And that's what we love. So you get a free 10 minute audio or written reading. How exciting. So you can have free readings for the rest of your life if you do this right, guys. And I'm doing this to help my channel grow. I want to get the word out and do lots of things and share all the love and all the fun and help you guys grow with me. So do check in from time to time. And also have a group. A special group and I can never remember the, the name of it which isn't cool oh actually I'm gonna find it on my computer because I've got it here here we go where are we um, here we go just give me one moment it is called creating come on come on show me of course I can't type now um, creating a heart of wealth online guidance workshops and retreats I really must learn that high. <laughs> um, but yeah, do join that group. It's a private group and that's where you will get all the info. Um, free stuff, free, free, free stuff of helping to empower your life and change your life up. Hi Donna, lovely to see you. Uh, and also about workshops as well and things like that. So I'm still building the tribe. Come and join my tribe at... Creating a Heart of Wealth, Online Guidance, Workshops and Retreats. <laughs> Still 
still haven't learned it. Um, <laughs> have a great day and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.